one's unbelievable. At least I think so. I want to hear what you have to say. Call in 1-877-TELL-HLN. Here's what we have. A couple in Georgia admits to giving their kids homemade tattoos. Here's the device. It's not the rub-off ink you get in the Cracker Jack box. It's a homemade tattoo gun with sharpened guitar string as a needle. Who uses that on their kids? Here's John Pless from Prime News affiliate WTVC in Somerville. I don't understand why this has gotten blowed up so big. You know, I love my children. We'd never do anything to harm our kids. Joja Marsh this is proud of the small. tattoos that her boyfriend put on her arms and legs. These were her done with a homemade gun. But Chattooga County Sheriff John Everett says Marsh went too far by tattooing her and her boyfriend's children. A 10-year-old, two 11-year-olds, a 12-year-old, and a 15 and 17-year-old. We've never seen anything, never heard of anything like this in surrounding counties or anywhere. Sheriff Everett says the children were tattooed with a black cross on their hand with a homemade tattoo gun. This is the device that was used. Plug it into a normal outlet. This is the ink pen barrel with the uh, guitar string inside it. The needle was used on all six children by Jacob Edward Bartels. We have kids from separate marriages, okay? So, I mean, I have four and then he has three, but they're all ours, you know? It's like, yeah. anyway, so, I mean, they wanted one. So we were like, okay. Marsh and Bartell are charged with illegal tattooing, cruelty to children, and reckless conduct. I don't think we did anything wrong. The kids don't think we did anything wrong. This is crazy. This is blowed up so bad. Let's, let's bring in Steve Cardi. And Steve, let's talk about the law. If you're under 18, you can't get a tattoo, right, in Georgia? Yeah, in most every state that yeah. I'm aware of, it's 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 related to unlawful dealing with the children or endangering the welfare of a child, and it's in place for a reason to protect the children. It's it's wrong. It's irresponsible. It's criminal. It's unhealthy, as Stacy just mentioned, and it's very painful to administer a tattoo on someone. Yeah, and let, let's look at that little that machine that they've got working there, Steve. Um, couldn't the kids get infections, get sick off that, some sharpened guitar string? Sure, you could catch everything from hepatitis to HIV, any bloodborne pathogen. Yeah, stick to the rub-off tattoo that you get in the Cracker Jack box until a kid is of age and can make uh, their own decision. Let's get another call in. Teresa's with us in Minnesota. Hey, Teresa, what do you think here? Those kids are back with the parents. Are you kidding? I would do everything I could to terminate their parental rights. Mm. Uh, and I would also make sure that they'd have to pay for the cost of the uh, laser removal of those tattoos. Any one of them had an allergic reaction yeah. to that ink and died. And then those two idiots would have been up for manslaughter. All right. Teresa fired up about this one. Uh, Steve, let's talk about how, how much would do you think the, the legal system would have to see to, as Teresa is suggesting, uh, terminate parental rights here? Well, they're going to look and see if they have uh, any criminal background, Mike. They're going to take a close look at what goes on in the home. Child Protective Services is going to make frequent visits to make sure that they're adequately cared for. Um, I, I think it was more than likely a very, very bad call on the parents' part. And I think at the end of the day, it's not the crime of the century, but it is very harmful to the children. Yeah. Yeah, it sure has that potential, as we saw this, as, as our caller Carl said, it was a jailhouse tattoo gun. Enough said on that front. Guys, thanks again.